we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am going to be playing some Zeno Saga. So, for those who don't know and haven't seen it, you should go watch my other Let's Play. Um, I did Zeno Saga Episode 1, Der Wilsdermach. I'm pronouncing that terribly. I did that Let's Play as one of the first Let's Plays on my channel. I don't think it was the first. I think the first one was Portal. I can't actually remember what my first Let's Play was. <laughs> but one of the first... Let's Plays I ever did with Xenosuck Episode 1. And I've always wanted to do Episodes 2 and 3, it just never really found a good spot to kind of get it in there, because Xenosaga is a very convoluted series sometimes. But I decided, fuck it, let's do it, and do it alongside Shadow Hearts, because why not? And I am emulating this on um, my computer. And before anybody says a damn word, here is the game. Here is both discs. Game, could you stop stuttering, please? And it took an age and a half to get this thing to actually emulate properly. To the specs that I wanted it to, of course. But I think it did, so let's play a new game. If I can remember how to actually control the thing. No, I don't have episode one clear data, because all the episode one clear data really gets you is some bathing suits for your character, so I don't care that much. Yeah, you heard me right, it gets you bathing suits. Because Japan. Um, and set up, yeah. I mean, I could have just downloaded some Xenosog Episode 1 clear data from the internet. But I don't care that much. I really don't. Floating. And it starts out in space. Just like the first game. Even though the first game didn't start out in space, but it was like the second cutscene. No, I'm pretty sure we were looking at space lady. Coordinated rallying attacks were reported throughout Federation territory, prompting government officials to consider this movement an act of terrorism. I'm the trying to record to and my bunny is been... adorable. <sighs> the life of a new development. As internal agencies continue to analyze these violent events, a flash action report within the Federation and obtained by this station Gross. indicates that only realian models created within the last two years or those receiving adjustments in the Milshin star system have been implicated. Although this is not a complete list, we have obtained a partial list of units matching these criteria. This list includes DZ-100... Realians are synthetic humans, by the way, for those who haven't watched my other Let's Play. DZ one zero zero one zero zero seven. One zero zero one zero zero one zero zero one 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 zero one. Just turn into vendors. These realian outbreaks are spreading like wildfire. They'll be reading off plenty more model numbers in the media tomorrow. I can assure you. Oh, lip syncing! You're so, so funny. <laughs> what does that have to do with the operation? I'd like to know why I was chosen for this mission. I'm told that the military has detained all of its realians. I find it difficult to believe that they don't have any misgivings about us. He's a realian, by the way, Mr. Mr. Kanan, Cutie with the orange You're a realian who's been especially created and configured by Vector itself. I've been given the CEO's personal guarantee that you won't be affected like the others. Besides, no ordinary pilot could possibly control your craft. Chaos! <laughs> that makes you. I love your face. <laughs> very vital to the operation. Oh man, I, don't I haven't seen chaos. I believe you two have been years. properly introduced yet. This is Chaos. Hi, Chaos. We'll be joining you on board as your navigator. I appreciate the offer, but you may want to reconsider. A regular human can't ride in that thing. That's a good thing that Chaos right. isn't a regular human. That's why I'm here. In fact, he's like thousands of years old. Don't worry. All right, it's settled then. Good luck to both of you. As mentioned in the briefing, this is a top secret mission. All IFF code transmitters will be switched off, and under no circumstances will you receive backup from this vessel. Thanks. You'll have to manage your descent and return on your own. You can expect heavy resistance from both UTIC enemy craft and Federation military units deployed throughout Milsha. It's gonna be dangerous, so watch yourselves out there. Don't worry. Sheena? 
I'm coming back. A cheetah from uh, Operator, Tales of the Abyss. Requesting confirmation. The Abyss. We are to head to point NN441. Correct. Correct. The URTV force is currently deployed at the target location. And that's also the Regina. Is to retrieve I think. Them. Protecting them should be your first crisis. priority. All of them. Affirmative. If the situation allows, you will then infiltrate Utik's mother frame and acquire the Y data. The root of this conflict. Roger. We'll do what we can. ES Asher, startup sequence complete. Requesting launch. Launch request confirmed. Now guiding ES Asher to deck B. It's so pretty. Sinnoh Saga, episode two. Lots of German I can't pronounce. Defensive Gen shields deployed. Ready when you are. Roger. That was probably terrible Initiating pronunciation of that. Okay, bye, Gina. Slash Regina. Um, so this game takes place literally exactly where the second first one left off. But it starts off with a flashback. So this entire sequence is a flashback from 14 years ago from the Milsham Conflict. If you've seen my other Let's Play, you know what that is. Um, and then after this, this is the prologue flashback, and then we'll be... Li it's literally... This game literally starts where the last one left off. So, Currently passing if through I was the you, troposphere. even Out though temperature returning to normal. it's an old, old Let's Play, go watch my Xenosog Episode 1 Let's Adjusting Play. Adjusting descent path by 0 0.22. Or like 90% of this one will make sense. Our <laughs> Approach warning. Uh-oh. Incoming craft detected. They're on an intercept course. There are... We'll take them all out. Stop counting and take control of the shields. <laughs> we'll use the shockwave to gain an advantage on them. I love cannon. You've got control He's of the weapons. Fabulous. Roger. Cannon is it fabulous. It looks like they're unmanned. Can cannon? Cannon. With no G-force limit, they can outmaneuver us. They might pull some crazy moves out there, so be careful. Eh, it's fine, it don't worry about it. just makes them all the more predictable. Make them all the more predictable. Murders all of them. Also, they're in giant gundams. And they should have passed out from the G-forces already, I am pretty sure. Even though neither of the people piloting this space or this epic gundam here are human. <laughs> This is gonna be a lot of cutscenes, by the way. Xenosaga games are about 95% cutscene. They're like a Metal Gear Solid game. There's no end to these guys. Oh, they're flying in formation. And we don't have much ABR energy left either. Let's find some place to set it down. Yeah, just fly straight through the synchronized dancing mechs. Now it's time for Chaos to be badass, just like he was at the end of the other game. <gasps> yep. <laughs> they just happened to line up perfectly for him to kill all of them with a single beam. Oh, Chaos, you are literally a god. We're empty. That's <laughs> eh, okay. Just, uh, yeah. Just screw him with it, it's fine. Well, he probably just wasted the shell All of a multi-bajillion dollar it's true. weapon. You really are as good as they say. All he did was How spear a mech. The feedback? You know, a normal person would have probably passed out by now. I don't want you jeopardizing the mission. He's a god, it's fine. <laughs> We already, we already, we already know. It feels know. like it's had some special tuning, but that just makes it more interesting. <sighs> I see. Well, if I get anything unusual from you, I'm cutting the bypass to the navigator immediately. I can operate this thing fine by myself. Roger. Kanan, 
<laughs> I love you, you're an asshole. Also, the person we have to worry about is you, Kanan, because again, Chaos is a god, and I'm not just saying that figuratively, he pretty much is god. But you know. Like you do, nobody recognizes somebody's greatness. Especially when they're Looks as humble like as Chaos. <laughs> from our objective. Plus, I'd say the defensive network we saw on the way down takes out the idea of an airborne approach. We'll go by ground, then. Hold on, I just realized I forgot I was recording something else on my emulator before this, and I forgot that I need to switch over a graphics setting real quick. Fortunately, the rubble hey. from the burned out buildings should So hopefully that should fix it. You guys saw the weirdness the around the Chaos's hair? That's what that came Agreed. from. There we go, it's gone now. We'd okay. Get moving. We don't have much time. That's the thing about video game emulation. Sometimes you have to switch around some of the graphic settings, especially on the PlayStation 2 emulator, between video games. Does this have something to do with the URTVs? Those designer children? Like Junior! From the second mm -hmm. or from the yes. first game. That's right. We need to protect them from the coming crisis. If and when it occurs. You do realize that's a different story from what I heard in my official briefing. No doubt. <laughs> As the Federation government special forces, the URTVs were sent in ahead of the invasion. Okay, they're special sure forces, they're children. They, represent they are the literally like 10-year-old children. Right. I understand that their bioweapons sent in to sever the link between the UTIC's mobile weapons fleet and their source of power, the Zohar. The higher-ups have complete confidence in the URTVs. They are the military's trump card. They're also 10. Well, 14, Unfortunately, I think. The brass are also blind to the potential dangers of the URTVs. Yeah, because they're 14! Fascinating. Ish! I hadn't realized the situation was so desperate. And now we get to have a badass glamour shot of the mech. <laughs> Before we actually get to move the mech. So yeah, this let's play is gonna be a lot of me commentating over cutscenes. Because again, yes, I know what that thing is, you don't have to tell me game. Sadly, it doesn't let me skip tutorials, I don't think. Uh status, party, accessories. Nope, yeah, I don't think I can really. Missing controls, cursor memory. Yeah! Sadly, can't really fix that. Oh well. What's my save button? There it is, the circle. I just hit the wrong button. Okay, let's take this Gigantor mech and go onwards to an adventure, because adventures are fun, unless they consist of a lot of tutorials. So tell me, oh. what exactly are we expecting to happen here? It's a war zone, bro. I well, mean, can you see the fire in the flames? That the URTVs aren't merely machines. Yeah, they're, they're fourteen year olds. With their consciousness intact. <laughs> they're child soldiers, literally. The system that currently controls the Zohar was actually designed to be used for the UMN transport system. That's their like space flight FTL However, technology. Yes. Well, they experimented with the transport of living beings numerous times, but every attempt ended in failure. According to the records, 99.76% of them were killed instantly. Yep, that's why you don't, However, like, throw a person into a wormhole, dumbass. Occasions. There were survivors. They didn't exist as people anymore, though. They were just things. Never able to recover their consciousness. The very element that made them human. Mental breakdown. Yep. Lieutenant General Helmer. 
concluded that if contact with the system led to the I love how we just chilling in a war zone talking about this the inside a Mac. created as the system's antithesis might be affected. Therefore, if the URTVs were to suffer a mental breakdown, then likely the Zohar, a source of oh, yeah. energy, um. <laughs> would spiral out of control. That would be devastating. And yet, the general staff decision wasn't overturned. Yep. I suppose that's where we come in. Yep. Except, you know, Albedo's an asshole. But I love him so much! <laughs> He's definitely my favorite character, or one of my favorite characters in this entire franchise. Uh, but you guys will see the beautifulness that is Albedo in this game. You'll see my favorite cutscenes of him in the first game, but you know. Okay, let's get this over with. Doom, doom, and cutscene. <laughs> oh, this is emulating so well now, I'm so proud. Because I remember doing a charity stream for Final Fantasy X and it went terribly. Also, that's not good. Again, seriously, go watch my other Let's Play of this game, or... Or of Zenosaka Episode 1, or this is going to make no sense. Yeah, listen to the song, bro. Don't, well, actually, don't listen to the song. Don't listen to the song. It's Plug ears, bro. Music. It's... The Song of Nevelim. You don't you want that song in your ears, bro. I can't believe it. Even Utik has to be aware of the danger of the song. What could possibly make them? Don't do it, bro. Just, just don't listen to it. You're gonna no. go crazy. If this keeps up, everybody's gonna go crazy! So that's literally what the song does. It draws gnosis and makes everyone go crazy. It looks like they think we're the enemy. Any ideas? Yes, yeah, send an emergency IFF signal to let them know we're on their side. IFF Jammer means identify friend files, like we from have Mass Effect. To reach our objective. They should be receiving our IFF signal. They're just standing there getting shot at. <laughs> Wait, something's wrong. What is this? What the? What's going on? Yeah, the song of Nephilim has made them go insane. This That's what it does. And there goes Rick. That's why you don't just stand there and take gunfire to your face, bro. Uh, uh, See, that game is going insane because you listen to the song like uh, an idiot. Uh, uh, wait. That, also, that's Kanan, some very no. suggestive grunting. Don't listen to it. And I don't Close say that because I have a girl crush on Kanan, and I've had a girl crush on Kanan since I was little. <laughs> Okay, stop making suggestive grunting cannon. Oh my god, I love the music in this game so much. I have the soundtracks to all of the games. And now, badass mech with a sword. I don't know, but he's broadcasting an IFF. Attention, unidentified craft. I've received your IFF signal. The other crafts have been tainted. You seem unaffected. Are you an ally? No, we're well, terrible people. We are in fact like demons, this one's still and we want to kill you. What do you think? They're getting still getting shot at. our first priority right now. I think we should stick together. Agreed. You're still missing an arm now. IFF signal accepted. Stand by. I will now eliminate the affected Federation units. <laughs> I will now eliminate the enemy units. Slash! <laughs> oh man, I love Jin. We'll find out that guy's name in a minute, but it's Jin. Just dancing around the gunfire, it's fine. They went from just standing there taking the gunfire and letting their arm get shot off. To dancing in it. <sighs> Don't listen to the song, bro. Oh, 
Oh man, no more fancy sword mech act this. Act, act. Sword, happy sword mech stuff. No more happy sword mech stuff. Now well. Let's just abandon the super powerful, extremely important to the storyline ES mech here. It lost an arm, we can just let it go, it's fine. Uh oh. And he's just like, so. Chick! <laughs> no way in hell does he chop a mech in half with a just random sword. Impressive. What? <laughs> I guess that pilot is just as effective on foot as he is in his craft. Also, he has like a Truly sword made amazing. of unobtainium or something. And he has muscles for days. Thanks like, how could he assist. get the power to- And you're? I am Captain Jin Uzuki. Uzuki, you know, that's important. Look like you're with the regular forces. Remember that name? It's important. Well, whoever you are, if you're still operational, I advise you to leave. Still go this watch my old ass let's play in the first game. <laughs> people. Some stop being people altogether. Yep. They stop being people. Unfortunately, yeah, they go we crazy. can't leave. Not until we've completed our mission. Your mission? Forgive us, Captain. I am Chaos, and this is Kay. I am Chaos. I suspect that you're part oh, of the see. landing operation, aren't you? Do you know where the URTV force is now? If so... URTVs? Ah, uh, the special units, said to possess an anti udu retrovirus. Our mission is to protect them. Please, if you know where they are, tell us. Hmm. Well, this is quite a coincidence. Because he's looking for the same things. Sort of. And now it starts to rain, because you need to have poignant that, weather. Fate, perhaps. In any case, I will take you. Even though I have better things to do, like going and finding and rescuing my sister. Shion. Main protagonist of the first, second, and third game. I can think they got on the next! <laughs> Wait, where'd ES Asher go? Cause we totally pilot that shit later. Oh well, save point! Uh nope, wrong button. Wait a minute, can I can I I know I can change No, that's not what I wanted to do. Cause you can just like in Zenosaka like 1, you can change uh ha! I can be Jin! Yeah! I can be Samurai Man! Okay. Now let's see what I actually wanted to do and save the game. I mean, I love Chaos, and I'll probably be Chaos. Like, I would pick Chaos over Jin, but just for now, let's have Sword Man. Just for a little bit. Sometimes you just gotta have the sword. Because sword. So, in a fight, eventually I'll try and see if I can get it to happen again, but everybody has their lines that they can say when they, um, defeat, like, a random battle or something. But so this entire thing I is swear the chaos is, is exactly. may all your souls rest in it's peace. It's all part of an attempt to make the Utic organization, or should I say, all of Milsha, into a scapegoat. But of course! Even the Realian violence that we're seeing right now is nothing more than a brushstroke in the larger picture. But who's behind this? And why? Utic is undoubtedly a cover for a greater power still operating in the shadows. Obviously I believe the deep that this state. power is manipulating the conflict between the Federation and the Milshan system, driving a sequence of events in order to get their hands on something very specific. The Zohar like and what? yeah, the Y data. Well, that too, I guess. I mean, which is data? inside Momo. We will see. Later. I relieved an operative of this disk, and though I was only able to decode it partially. I discovered that all manner of data from all existing phenomena is gathered together within an area of space. And beyond that lies a special place only described in the Y data. Lost Jerusalem, aka Earth. How in the world did you acquire this information? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I have my ways. See, don't worry about it. It's fine. He's totally not like a quadruple agent. 
it's fine. Oh, it's a loud high pitch noise in my ear. Okay. So yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing terrible. And I am just now starting to again realize just how little sense this Let's Play is going to make if you've ever watched my episode one Let's Play. <laughs> oh well, I'm doing it anyway. Fuck it. You guys can, if you guys don't know what's going on, you still got my lovely face to watch. I mean, it's hardly a consolation, but I try. Most powerful sword in existence, I swear. Okay, Jin, let's very slowly run into the next area and have a boss fight. Because it was just a little ways past here that I got when I was doing my testing and I skipped the cutscenes. Granted, I've played this game like six or seven times, but, you know. Um, so yeah, there's a boss right here. By the way. There we go! My emulator crashed a couple times. It was angry at me for having a specific right. setting on, so I just turned it off. It Hopefully it you doesn't cause me lag. TVs in the lowest level. Yay! All right. Captain Uzuki, thank you for bringing us this far. We'll take things from here. Of course. As I said, it was fate. I wish yeah, I could sure, go bro. with you further. Fate. However, it's imperative that I complete my work on this data. I want to Please don't desync. Expose the shadow behind this conflict. The option that I turned off sometimes causes desync. To do this, in the audio, I'll have to access the mainframe here. Also, what? Also, shenanigans. Also, he has to go save his sister. Shion. Protagonist of the three games. Oh. That wasn't very nice, Margulis. That's who this guy is, by the way. Can you tell I know this game a lot? <laughs> I gave you far too much. I fucking love these games, you guys. They're one of my favorite series. I thought you were smarter than this. Margulis, shush. I never once thought you'd just come walking in through the front door. Well, I thought you might be getting lonely, Colonel. So I figured I'd come. Why are they all injured, looking? <laughs> Same old. I don't think I hit by anything. Neither your attitude nor your ability to bluff have shown improvement. No That's matter. Fine. The data you possess is no threat to us. You've got nothing. Precisely why. I have some unfinished business here. I see. I have to go you see my sister. You know what this means. Ozuki! You know what this means, I have to very, very intensely hold my sword out when I yell your name. Seriously, no Jen and Margulis? This ends here. The dude? Jen and Margulis? Totally have some unresolved homosexual tension. Oh, so much tension. But either way, boss fight, and I'm just gonna just, just do this for a little bit. Cause... Cause I can. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna be smarter than this. We're gonna do this a slightly different way than I've done it in the past. Cause you have the double thing there, which is your like epic attacks. Um, but I'm going to save mine. Because he gets really mean about halfway through this match. Yeah. Do 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 but yeah, it's sort of your standard RPG with a twist. You just pick, pick things, do things. What? I don't speak Crazy Moon language, bro. Rip. Sorry? Why are you apologizing, Chaos? Really? 
I mean, Alright, um. Yeah, this is this is when I start stalking. Because their double attack can do about 550, 580 damage, which is about how much health he has left. So, gotta be a little bit careful at this point, because we want to murder his face, but we want to do it without getting our face murdered in the process. Okay. So I'm just gonna... Yeah. Epic attack, go! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> totally scientific space game. <laughs> oh no, anti break stance. Oh wait, he has like 10 HP left, so I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, what was that? Is this right? And now he did. Oh no! It doesn't matter because I beat the game or it beat the boss. I almost said beat the game. I beat the boss anyway. <laughs> See, when you're smart in a boss fight, you don't get wrecked like you uh, may have possibly may have happened during one of my uh, trying to make sure the game emulates properly <laughs> sessions. <laughs> Epic sword fighting! Look at him graphics, yo! I mean, granted, this game is, looks very good graphically for its time, because it was an early ish one title. 2004. Um, granted, I think that Xenosaga 3 is the most one of the most gorgeous games I've ever seen. And this game is decently good, but it has a little bit of Uncanny Valley problems, even more so than the first game did. And I'm- this is definitely at least fair, I mean, I love this game, but my favorite is Xenosaga 3, then 1, then 2. So this is going to be fun, especially because they replaced half of the main voice cast for the second game and then brought them back for the third game. Like, they couldn't just keep the same voice actor for all three games. Like, half of the characters have different voices for no reason, but just in the second game. <laughs> Thankfully, Chaos and Junior don't, but my other favorite characters You're do. a sad sight, Uzuki. Even with your so-called reinforcements. Oh, Jin's a badass! You're out of Shut your up, Why, it's clear now that you never even had a chance. Uh, You're on a crack, Captain, bro. Captain, you're hurt. Don't step on the crack. You'll break your mother's back. Uh, uh, it's... Uh, it's from earlier. It's Bullshit! to worry about. If you'll pardon the cliché, it's just a scratch. You're literally spraying blood out of your side. <laughs> I mean, we saw his suit. He had no blood stain there. And so all of a sudden, the entire side of his suit... My rabbit just did circles this around my bedroom. is finished. There's no point in staying any longer. Don't know if you guys can hear it. I think it's time we ended this. But my pets are silly. <sighs> okay, Once Marcus. And for all. Yeah, sure. Just, you know, cracks on your feet. Bro? Oh, Jin is such a badass. <laughs> <laughs> you dare to face me, maimed as you are? You just asked him to. <laughs> the only thing you've mastered is the art of futility. You never know until you try, Colonel. That's enough! Sorry, I really like the music in this game. Get it? Margulis is fire, so he's obviously ice. Get it? Hi, Jin. And that's the story of how Margulis got the scar on his eye from DC in the first game. 
because you see him in the first and now third game and in this game. Death. It's giant scar. I have always been your better in every way, Uzuki. It's something that old fool couldn't. Bro. What the? That's why you don't step on the crack. Karma, bro. And Margulis somehow survives that. Like, he should have gotten crushed by rubble or broken multiple Kane. bones. Take this. <laughs> Take this and stick it in your neck. Is this? Because he's a synthetic human, therefore he can stick things in his neck and download stuff. Storing it with you is safer than carrying it around. Then why would you just throw it into the pit so, with Margulis? You should have shot it. Else or I must go. chopped it in half with a sword. You're not serious. No, he's pretty serious. Still mobile, Captain. You could come with us. Nah, I gotta go save my sister. No, this is my own way of atonement. I can't turn back now. But... Please, go on. Bring the truth of this conflict, the truth hidden in that data, to light. Please, and nobody ever does. <laughs> for me. Captain Uzuki. I'm counting on you. So, farewell. How can he ninja jump backwards when he is that evidently injured? Yeah, you two should probably get moving. Kanan, look at that. Huh? And flashback over. <laughs> Thankfully, they let you save after each chapter, which is fairly useful and fairly helpful. But yeah, as we've been playing this game for about, uh, my recording says 52 minutes, so you allowed that's gonna be stuff that I cut out. Also, it's 45 there. Alright, because I kept having to reload when my games crash. 14 years later, so yeah, good job getting, good job getting the truth out there, Canon. Chaos. Congratulations, Kanan. This brings our total loss count to 127. I'd say that's a new record. 127? <sighs> 127 what? I remember the first time as if it was yesterday. My son was born the next day. How old is he now? He starts junior high next month. I see. It's it's got to be that shadow. I mean, think about it. Its shadow. influence severs your data link every time. If we only knew what it was, then we could access the data he gave you. And all those 14 years, they've never been able to access the data that Jin gave them. Gave him. So why don't they go contact contact Jin? Because it's literally on the same planet right now. Could you go ahead and report today's results? Has been for there? like a decade. I'm not your secretary, you know. But today is my son's birthday. <laughs> but today is my son's birthday, and I gotta go see him. Okay, but bye, guy. We're never gonna see you again in the entirety of this franchise. I hope your son has a nice birthday. Oh, it's the Udu guy. <laughs> That's unfortunate, but I suppose it can't be helped. I understand that it's data concerning the Milshan conflict. Is it really that important? Yes, it is. The truth behind the conflict lies buried within it. Hmm. The one who entrusted that data to you was a subordinate under my command. I had sent He's him in badass. an independent investigation. 
Yes, Jin Uzuki. Whatever happened to him? He runs a bookstore down the street. I thought you were a model with suppressed <laughs> emotions. Don't tell me you're concerned about him. I'm just curious. Curiosity is an the emotion. One who saddled me with this nuisance after all. <laughs> you're the one who just Don't stuck a wire him. in your neck, he's dude. the military. I hear he's doing fine. <laughs> now, I have another job I'd like you to undertake. Have a look at this. Momo! A 100 series Realian prototype Momo. We'll be executing a dive into her subconscious domain at the Administration Bureau. I'd like to request your assistance. What's the timeline? Now. I've been notified <laughs> that our people have just now descended from orbit our and people. landed at the spaceport. I'd be obliged if you could go and pick them up. I love Helmer. That's Sounds the guy. To me the like black guy's more name. To it than that. His name's Helmer, and he's just. We've has noticed the best a rise voice. in recent activity from both the UTIC organization and the immigrant fleet. I think in times like these. It pays to take precaution. Understood. Yeah, totally. Nothing bad's gonna ever possibly happen. Everything's fine. And by that, I mean not at all. Oh, hey, look, it's the Pope! I just realized I may get some people angry at me because the content of this game is extremely anti-religious. <laughs> it's like a Final Fantasy Chief game. Inquisitor Margulis wishes to convey the details to you directly. Very well. The Pope has yellow eyes. Oh dear. Evil Pope. Your Eminence, it is an honor to be in your presence. Spare me your platitudes. I understand that the Realian in possession of the Y data has fallen into the hands of the Kukai Foundation. Yep. I trust you have an explanation for this? Yes, Holiness. It is true that the 100 series prototype that holds the Y data is currently in the custody of the Kukai Foundation. Or rather, the second Milshan government. That's not an explanation. However, That's just telling him. I trust you understand the significance of the situation. According to the URTV Albedo, Albedo the Y data again. is secured by a form of high level protection. Only accessible at the UMN Control Center on 2nd Milsha. So they can't even Hence, get into the data the in Momo's brain. Preparations for our next move are already underway. So that means whatever they're going to try to do to access the information... Margulis. ...is gonna probably fuck with Momo's I brain a little. I heard that the recent offensive against 2nd Milsha was the result of Cardinal Heinlein's manipulation of the Federation's military's upper ranks. What do you know of this? I am afraid I possess no intimate details of that. <laughs> I would presume that all of the Cardinal's decisions are made in the organization's best interest. Your words. I would imagine it is safe for me to trust them. No. No. Like, I have sworn not even fealty to your holiness. I would never allow myself to be manipulated by ancient dogma. That is exactly what you're allowing yourself to do, mm. Margulis. Very well. You're just a really good liar. Our fleet is considering an invasion of the demilitarized zone in the near future. I sincerely hope that you will not disappoint me. I understand, Your Holiness. I vow to deliver you good news. Margulis. Holiness. I don't like that you are TV. You're but Albedo's so cool, though! Someone vulgar. <laughs> because Albedo is extremely I'm vulgar sure and I love him. That. As you wish. 
Albedo is so vulgar, and I love him. <laughs> Seriously. Go watch my other my Let's Play of Episode 1, because there are so many beautiful Albedo moments in that game. <laughs> oh, he's so great. <laughs> they get suspicious when they get old. <laughs> the weaker they are, the louder they bark. Yep, told you. Can't be trusted. Pellegrini! Pellegrini. What's your status? Everything is proceeding smoothly. I have Herman and Richard pursuing the target as we speak. As this is an independent Inquisitor operation, I'm granting you permission to use the E.S. <gasps> Isakar. Uh-oh. E.S.? You mean those thousand-year-old relics? Do they still work? Uh, yeah, yes, we had E.S. Asher ES earlier, although he lost the his arm. Of anima. The Vessel of Anima. The Vessel of Anima was discovered at the same time as the Zohar. Over 4,000 years ago. Its power rivals the military might of an entire star system. Handle it with care. We can't afford for it to get damaged, particularly after the effort it took to restore it. Understood. By the way, this game takes place about roughly 4,000 years in the future. After discovering the ancient Zohar, super Our high number. technology on the planet. File number 026643. And now an hour in, we are finally... The Anti-Gnosis Battle Android, Cosmos. At the end of the last game. <laughs> ...startup and field testing on board the Federation cruiser Woglinde, awoke during a Gnosis attack on the fleet. She initiated autonomous mode, even though that mode was still sealed, and has been fully operational Oh, I love the captain. Cosmos is acting under her own volition. However, there are many unstable elements in her emotional program, and further... Oh, why did they have to change so many of the voice actors? <sighs> okay. After the escape from the Woglinde, we were rescued by the Elsa, a Kukai Foundation cargo ship. We are presently descending into Second Milsha, in order to turn Cosmos over to Vector's second R&D division. Furthermore, while en route to Milsha, we took the 100 series observational Realian prototype, Momo, into custody. During this time, we were pursued by the UTIC organization <laughs> and an individual Oh, I love Alan. Albedo. He's the orange shirt, too. Albedo's tenacious attack brought about the appearance of the Song of Nephilim and Proto Merkaba. Cosmos' actions allowed us to overcome these crises. That's Cosmos. She's my baby. I believe this series of actions by Cosmos oh, I want to cosplay has been her so hard. influenced by her black box components left behind by the late Kevin Winnicott. This will likely become a major focus of our future research. Report author Shion Izuki. Also, there. That's your whole like last time on Zeno Saga. Vector Industries. First R and D division. Yeah, that's your whole. Here's all of the stuff that happened in the last game. Synopsis. It, it explains like a, a quarter, a tenth of what happened in the last game. Ah. Okay, fingers crossed. This is the cutscene so that fucked up when alive. I was trying to get everything put together yeah, for no this. No kidding. For a while play. there, I was kind of worried, but somehow we made it back. I'm telling you, the crazy stuff the chief pulls always keeps me on edge. Please don't lie. What are you saying? Okay, good. You make it sound like it was all my fault. Oh, uh, that's not what I meant. I, uh... Hey, Cosmos! Thank goodness you were there. Man, you really <laughs> saved us. Way to divert attention, Thank you very Alan. Much. I am happy to be of service. Ah, oh, I wish they hadn't changed Cosmos' voice in this hey. game. We're gonna head over to the government office now. What are you all gonna do, Xion? Hmm. Scion. Well, we need to hand over Cosmos. What her name is. I think I'll wander over to Vector's second division. Is that all right with you, Cosmos? Acknowledged. That will not be a problem. I see. Well, I guess you gotta do your job. You're gonna be Junior's here for a while, right? Hey, He's maybe we can have some fun later. That'd be great. I'll show you around this place. I don't Mama. like your idea of fun, Junior. Thanks. I'm looking forward to it. All right then. 
Shall we, Cosmos? Please excuse us. Wait, let's Goodbye. see if I can remember this, because Cosmos' name is an acronym. Um, Cosmos obeys what strategic the... multiple operation hey, systems. Chief, why that's not? what her name is. Oh, I am such a nerd for this game. I suppose we should get going too. Sorry. Could you wait just a little while? I'm going to report what's happened to the subcommittee. It appears that Dr. Misrahi has also arrived at Milsha as well, if you have a message for her. Really? Mommy's here? Yes. Yeah, Mommy. Please let her know that I'm looking forward to seeing her. Aww. Momo, you're so fucking cute. Got it. <laughs> I'll pass it along. You're so adorable, and I'm so glad that I- at least I think there is slightly less weird pedo stuff in this game. Seriously, they have panty shots of the little right. girl character in the first game. Continue your assignment until the delivery is complete. Acknowledged. Oh, Japan. Dr. Mizrahi. Yes, Yon Sauer. Is there something else? Don't call me by my real name, bitch! I'm currently I'm Ziggy. Ziggurat. Ziggy Stardust. So it appears. Momo is looking forward to seeing you. I see. I... I too welcome your arrival. That's not the answer Momo was probably looking for, bruh. Also, no. Ziggy? Him? It almost sounds like she's... scared to meet her. Oh, she's scared shitless. Eavesdropping is not a very admirable pastime. Yeah, well, you failed your spot Say, check, bro. old man, how about upgrading to a modern carbon-based body? I bet. If we applied combat realian technology, we'd see some serious results. There's no, no need I'm to play around man. extending my lifespan. Sure about that? I bet Momo would be happy if you live longer. I'll pass, thanks. I have no desire to prolong things. <sighs> All right. You know who to call if you ever change your mind. So, Ziggy here? I think I mentioned this in the other let and the Let's Play of Episode 1, but Ziggy is modeled after David Bowie. Literally, he's modeled after um, David Bowie's character Ziggy Stardust. Which is why his name is Ziggy. Because his model number, because he's an cyborg, an ancient cyborg, um, is Ziggurat 8. And Momo gave him the name Ziggy. So now, he is Ziggy. But that is going to be it for this game, or for this episode, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this, and seriously, I hope my commentary is at least somewhat entertaining, but if I was you, I would go watch my Xenosaga Episode 1 Let's Play. So this one will make more sense. Because unlike other games with sequels, you need to, you need to really watch the first one to get the second one, and to get the third one. Even though the third one is an entire clusterfuck of confusion, but I love it. So, my name is Miss Greta Tanager, and I have been playing some Zeno Saga Episode 2, long German subtitle name that I cannot pronounce, and I will see you all in the next video.